The introduction of DNA analysis as a crime-fighting tool has been revolutionary, and over the past 20 years, that revolution has undergone revolutions of its own. When the whole thing began in the 1980s, it took quite a bit of genetic material to put together someone's DNA profile from a crime scene. Now, every year, it seems that smaller and smaller samples will do the trick, leading to touch DNA. Profiles built from skin cells left behind when someone simply touches or holds an object. But with this greater sophistication comes the need for greater caution and ever more thorough investigation, because the fact is, any place where humans live or work is dusted with DNA. Each of us shuffles along in clouds of it as we sweat, sneeze, and shed some 400,000 skin cells every single day. When investigators arrive at a crime scene, their challenge is to look at this forest of camouflaging noise and figure out where the suspect's DNA is likely to be hiding, to isolate it from DNA left by the victim, casual visitors, or even the police themselves. The science is a powerful tool that will help them identify that DNA and build their case once they get to that point. But in the end, for the case to hold up will require thorough, skilled detective work putting that tool to its correct use.